Welcome and good morning. Welcome back to the shed. It's snowing outside. That's why the heat is on. That's why I've got this glow about me today. Not that I don't normally. I don't know what you're thinking. A bit of a shade there, Ed. Yeah, you're right. Could do a bit of a shade. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, today I thought I'd share a little bit of my days at college with you. So those of you who know me, you know these stories. You've got your own versions of them. Got four little stories to go on about. So the first one is, I know you're gonna remember this one, Miss Mister, is when me and my mate, I'm not gonna give any names because they know who they are. We decided, oh we're bored, let's go out for a drive. Didn't have a driving license at the time, but my mate did. He had this old blue escort. It's like, well, where should we go? Ah, let's just go for a drive. So we go off for a drive. We've been for many drives, sometimes with others, sometimes it was just me and him. Remember one time I was in the back. He had his then girlfriend in the front. I think there's a couple in the back. Heading down the road, he's speeding away, not paying attention. What are you doing, man? Anyway, I saw this sign. It's like, give away the end. Give away the end. By the end, I think I'm screaming. He slams on the brakes, just about stops at the giveaway sign. As he does this, a car flies past. Yeah, maybe we should uh, start looking where we're going, eh? Anyway, that's a different story. This one, coffee, it's cold out here today. Got me seagull on my mug. Woohoo! Anyway, can't be a nice cup of coffee in the morning. Always start. Tea in the morning, tea and breakfast, then you have a coffee. Normally, if I'm working in the pub, which is what I tend to do for a living, have my tea, have my breakfast, go to work, have a coffee, think about doing some work. Don't want to do too much, you know, let's not get carried away. Anyway, so this one, we decide, you know what, let's go up to this uh, car park, on top of Butser Hill. It's not really a car park, it's more of a field. Well, you know, it's more of a ploughed field at the time we finish with it. So we go up there in the dead of night. We can't stay too long, Ads, because the lights are going to make it obvious that there's someone doing stuff up here that we're not supposed to. We weren't doing anything rude, because, you know, we didn't get well. Anyway, so we get up, we get up there, and we start doing some handbrake turns. Like, I'll tell you what, I'll turn the turn the wheel, and as I do that, you pull the handbrake. So we were doing this for five or six minutes. I do remember the ditch that we went flying over. It's like, whoa, Jeff and Al. Things like that, words of that description. Anyway, so we do that. We leave the field, and we go off on our merry way. Petrol's getting a bit low, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna pull over and get some petrol. Yeah, sure, no worries, mate. As he pulls over, it's like, hey, Ant, get out and have a look at this. So I get out. The once blue car had now become brown. Obviously, you're not gonna do this in the summer, are you? We were doing it in about, I can't remember if it was spring or autumn, it certainly wasn't summer, but the car became brown. We didn't go and see what the field was like. But I'm imagining Top Gear play rugby at Twickenham. If you can remember that one, it's on the iPlayer possibly, probably on Netflix. If you go back and look at how that pitch ended up, it might not be quite as extreme as that. But there would have certainly have been some um, tie marks, shall we say. So that's one story. Similar story, same person, my mate again. He was the victim this time. So we were doing hospitality and catering at college. You can see how cold it is by the steam going out my mouth. You know, it's pretty cold out here. That's why the heater's on. Anyway, so we were doing something in a kitchen. I don't know what we were doing. We didn't really worry too much at the time about that. But we'd finished and it was time to go and get changed. Literally, we'd just gotten into the changing room. And he had his back to the door and the door was open because, you know, 
We're boys, we're not going to close the door. Anyway, so he takes his chef's jacket off. As he does this, this, shall we call her mad bitch? She, this mad bitch. She comes in. She gets her fingers and goes down his back. So much so that she draws blood. Yes, it was something else. For about two weeks time, two weeks later, you could still see the fingers, nails in her, oh sorry, in his back. Yeah, it was, it was brutal. Of course, we had lots of sympathy for him. Yeah. There was also the other time when we were getting changed and Rob decided he's going to show Rocky how close he can punch. So he's like, he's like going further and further back to the um, lockers. Anyway, there's another one. So this time we're going to go and play football. I've only got two for this one, but I'll start with this one. There was me and my two mates. And we're going to go and play football over by the bingo in Lee Park. If anyone knows where that is, great. If you don't, it doesn't really matter. It's a football pitch. Anyway, he goes off. He's got the football. And he's doing a few keepy up. He's trying to make himself look good. He was average at best. Obviously, I was better. That's the story I'm telling anyway. I'm not saying I was bad at football. But when I was a member of a team, at the start of the season, you're given a certain amount of money. I think it was about 20 quid at the time. This is back in the 1990s. And then I think it's three pounds if you play. It was a pound as a sub. At the end of the season, I got money back for my 20 quid. Says a lot about me, doesn't it? I did go and goal a few times. Only because there was no one else to go and goal and they felt sorry for me. I was a very good linesman, apparently. Anyway... So, he's off with the ball, doing some keepy uppies. And um, I come across a golf ball. So, uh, he's about 30 yards. There's no way. No way I can throw that far because, you know, there's a reason why I got money back for my 20 quid. Let's just say that. So, I decide I'm going to lob the golf ball towards him. Not expecting, you know, I'm not aiming for him. I'm sort of just throwing it. Anyway. I throw this ball, and it's getting a bit close. I'm like, hey, look out. As I say that, he looks up. He's still got a scar on his nose. He knows who he is. He'll watch this video, and he'll think, yeah, I remember that. That's an even better one, though. So this time, it was just me and him playing football. We went over to the rugby um, pitches near his ex-girlfriend's. Anyway. The sun is in his eye. I think he was in goal. I can't remember. They just freshly mowed the grass. And I remember that. There was plenty of freshly mowed grass. I'm sure he also remembers this bit. Anyway. So. I kicked the ball. Pretty straight in the air. He's got a bit of distance. He decides. Oh, that's alright. I'm going to trap this one with my foot. So he gets his foot out. And um, he's going to try and trap it under his foot his foot wasn't quite in the right position it ended up <coughs> landing and bouncing up and going where as a man you don't want it to bounce to say he lied on the floor and cried like a baby for 15 minutes isn't really an exaggeration of course i helped by putting grass all over him and into his mouth hey hi I thought it was proper funny. Anyway, one more quick one. So, as I said, when we were at college, we were doing hospitality and catering. So we've done the cooking side of the scratches down the nails. This one didn't include me or my mates. It, it was a girl. So we had to learn to serve food as well. We were You learn to cook and you learn to serve food. You're learning basically restaurant skills. Uh, one of the skills we had to learn was how to silver serve. So on, I think it might have been a banquet, everyone was having the same thing. Everyone was having chicken. 
can't remember what they have with chicken, but the main thing was everyone was having chickens. So you had this giant flat or salver, whatever it's called, and you had about 10 to 12 chickens on. And you get your little spoon and fork and you picked it up and you put it on the plate. And the idea is you get your salver, you keep it nice and flat. Hopefully there's enough space so you're not going to burn the arm of the man or lady either side of you. That happened. Anyway, so this girl, she's, hi Tom, would you like some chicken? She's got about two through. And then the next person, and this is one of the skills you need to learn. You need to be able to independently use your arms. And when you're practicing, that's not as easy as it seems. It's a bit like the rub the tummy and pat the head malarkey. It's it's easy to say, but sometimes people get confused with it. She definitely, definitely didn't get this quite right. So there she is. She's um, trying to serve. She just about managed to push a bit of chicken onto a couple of plates. The next one she goes to, she doesn't hold it flat. She pulls it out like this and all the chicken end up on the man's plate, probably over him. To say we laughed would be an understatement. One of the best things we did was when we were setting up in the restaurant would be, you had to check the salts and peppers. You turn them over, check them on your hand if there's any in there. Go and tap the person not looking at you on the shoulder as they look down. Blow the salt and the pepper in their face, in their eyes, up their nose. It stung like a motor finger. It was horrible. Salt, grit in your eyes. Who wants that? Anyway, hope that one, um, those few stories you find a bit entertaining. I certainly did at the time, certainly do now. Still, I will do a few more of these. If there's any stories that you'd like me to um, reminisce in my way, then please do. You know, if you've got your own version, you know, you, you highlight the bits which you think I've done wrong. Anyway. Been nice speaking to you. I haven't made a video for a few days. I hope you enjoyed this one. Obviously, those who know these stories, you know, I'm sure it'll give us a bit of a giggle. Those who don't, hope you enjoy them as well. Anyway, it's a little bit about my college days. Do a few more of these over the next week or so. Hope you enjoy it. Please like, share, and subscribe. See ya.